This woman used a pencil to mark the toilet paper to prevent the black maid from using the family toilet. The black man cooks for the white man not to touch the white man's utensils, to use their own spoons, to serve coffee to whites, to keep it on the table, to avoid touching the white man's hands, to put up with the taunts of white people while working. It's just plain dangerous. They carry different diseases than any day. Such discrimination was common in America 60 years ago. Whites even built black only bathrooms. Abby, a black man, sweated every time she went into this cramped toilet. But when white people pretended to ask, See, it's so nice that you're on Angeline. She had to pretend to be grateful. She knows that if she shows her displeasure, she'll be fired immediately. Her children would go hungry. But Lisa, the white girl, is not like the others. She was brought up by a black maid. She wanted to write a book that would show the public the injustices suffered by black people. She asked Abby to tell her story. Abby hid in fear. I set my cousin Chanel's car on fire just because she went down to the boat station. Do this with you, I might as well burn my own house down. Because of racial segregation, it was illegal for whites and blacks to spend time together in private. Until this day, Abby heard that her friend couldn't go outside to use the bathroom because of a rainstorm. He was kicked out of his employer's bathroom and was accused of stealing. Abby finally couldn't take it anymore. She asked Lisa to dress up in disguise to sneak into her house. She had the courage to tell her story. She'd looked after 17 white babies, putting them to sleep, taking them to the toilet. Toilet. One time the baby asked her, why are you black? And she replied, <laughs> They laughed, but when she saw her son's picture, she was silent. She was doing her job for her employer, but her only son was run over by a white man in a car, loaded her in a cart and dumped her in front of the hospital, honked the horn and left. The doctors were at their wit's end. She had to take her son home. She watched him leave. Every time, the anniversary of his death. She mourned the death of her son, but the white man didn't care about the parties and the fun. She even thought her black face was spoiling her mood. The next day, the maid finds her and bathes and dresses her. She taught her to go to the toilet, but the woman didn't want the baby to take her away from the party. She took the child away from the toilet. In her opinion, she had done her duty by carrying the child once a day. This day, the child climbed onto a toilet alone to go to the bathroom. Proudly says, I but the woman thought she was dirty sitting on a second-hand toilet. Goes up and slaps her twice. <laughs> the maid held the child in her arms and told her. You is calm. You is small. You is important. She puts the baby to bed every day to wake her up. Holding a scared child during a tornado. <laughs> But Abby, who was black, was always discriminated against by white people. She was not allowed in the living room whenever there was a meeting. Guests would rather hold their urine than go to the bathroom. Just upset to think she's guest bad. The family was afraid she would spread germs. They even built a special toilet for the black maid. Instead, Lisa encouraged Abby to speak out about her experiences. He wanted to write a book about the discrimination suffered by black people. But if it became public knowledge, Abby would be sacked, beaten up. He would even be arrested by the police. It took a lot of courage for Abby to meet up with Lisa in secret. And that's when, a friend bursts through the door. You want Abby to get into trouble. At Abby's insistence, her friend finally changed her mind, told Lisa what happened to her too. But you need at least 12 black stories to write a book. They asked everyone around them. No one dared to say yes, even the day Abby took the bus home. But she stopped halfway. The driver unceremoniously ordered the black people off the bus. It turned out that the black movement had angered the racists. A black man had been killed by a white man for staying at home. The driver was afraid that the blacks would get the whites on the bus. They were thrown out of the car. Abby ran home in fear. Friends were scared out of their wits. If they write a book and expose themselves, they could have been killed outright. But the bullying and discrimination was always on their heads. A black maid's son finally gets into college, just $75 short of tuition. She begged the master if she could pay him in advance. As soon as the man heard this, she immediately makes an excuse and leaves. The hostess tells her in a condescending manner. How don't get charity, don't you want You need to come up with this money on your own, okay? Yes, ma'am. You'll thank me, ma'am.
Lisa found the maid, wants her to tell her what happened to her. The maid immediately looks outside nervously. No one had noticed. She was looking forward to her son going to university. She didn't dare to say anything. But this day, the maid was forcibly taken away by the white police. The family accused her of stealing a ring. She was pinned to the car. And then, this injustice and beating finally angered the black people. They gathered together to tell Lisa what had happened to them. She was fired for using her employer's bathroom and accused of stealing candlesticks. She couldn't get a job in the whole white community. The maid had to come in with a chocolate pie to apologize as the woman gobbled up her pie. As she unceremoniously ordered. Let her want. Eat the shit. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am. But you got to. Because you just need. It turned out that Anna had added her own poo to this chocolate pie, but the other black people were equally humiliated. But other black people are equally humiliated, but don't dare to fight back. A black man walks past a white man's farm on his way to work. He was threatened at gunpoint by a farmer. He'll shoot him if he sets foot on his land again. A black man's master left his home before he died, gave her to his mean daughter as if she owned it, continuing to work as a servant. Lisa, a white woman, put all this in a book, trying to give a voice to black people. But the national repression against black people people was getting worse. If anyone found out that the stories in the book were about them, they would be shot by white people. And that's when Anna had a great idea. Include in the book that she fed the rich girl poo. The rich girl would never let anyone know she'd eaten shit, so she'll spend her life trying to convince people. The book is fictional. Finally, Lisa has documented what happened to 36 black people, and the last thing she wrote was about the black maid who brought her up. Mom had invited the upper class over for dinner, and they look at the black maid with disgust. She told her mother to get rid of her. Mom is watched by noble women to fit in, ignoring the old maid's expectant eyes, and closed the door. The old maid touches Lisa's height measurement on the door for the last time. She was forced to move away. She passed away soon after. By the time Lisa came home from her holiday, it was too late. She could only write about what happened to the maid to prove to her that the book had finally been released. People were reading it in supermarkets, parks, and dormitories. What you gonna put up in this? She said, my shit. <laughs> The rich girl with the book reads it. She screamed out in terror. Her mouth blistered with anxiety and tried to convince people that the book was a fabrication. At the service, black people applaud Abby's bravery because her real name couldn't be in the story. So everyone signed the back of the book and gave it to her. But the rich girl did the same thing again, accusing Abby of stealing, forcing the owner to fire her. Abby walks down the road with her bag in her hand and doesn't look back. She'll use her pen to tell the truth. God says you need to love our enemies. It's hard to do, but it can stop at telling the truth. This is an American thriller film called The Help. It portrays the relationship between black maids and white women to show viewers how influential the civil rights movement was to today's society. Do well to watch it if you find it interesting. Highly recommended.